Yo guys, it's CFB and welcome back to a brand new video. Yes! Come on! Chelsea are through to the semi-final of the Emirates FA Cup. I'll go through the whole thing. The Emirates FA Cup. We're through to the semi-final. We had just beaten Leicester City 4-2. Now we made hard work of it. But we've got through there in the end. And yeah, before we get into the nitty gritty, please like us, like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so notified every time I load a video. Also, first link in the description is my streaming channel. Go and check that out. Very much appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the action because there's loads of action. There's loads of things to talk about, loads of bullet points. Let's just get into it. Let's save the breath and let's get into it. So let's go through the team that we were actually no, before we go through the team we went, uh, we went with. We made hard work of it today. We've made hard work of it um, against a championship top side. Fair play to Leicester. They gave us a run for our money, especially in the second half. In the second half, Leicester said maybe the score doesn't reflect the game in a sense because in the second half, they really pushed our buttons. And Chelsea were really pushing my buttons because, Jesus Christ, it's like we just allowed them into the game. We just allowed them into the game where it looked like we was cruising in the first half. So, anyway, let's go through the lineup. So, we went with Petrovic in goal. No, we did not go with Petrovic in goal, sorry. We went with Sanchez in goal, which was awful. Um, we went with Kukurella left back. De Sassi, Chalabas, your two centre-backs. Gusto, right back. Casiedo, Gallagher in your double pivot. Uh, we went with Sterling off the left. Palmer off the right. Mudrick in the cam. And then Jackson as the ST. Now, I said in my preview yesterday, I feel like Sterling will probably come into the side, even though I don't want him to. And Mudrick will probably play in a 10, which I kind of... You know, I, I don't mind seeing Mudrick in the 10 because I think he does quite well in the 10. In fact, I actually think Mudrick down the middle offers more than he does out wide. Out wide, it feels like he's too he's too stuck out wide. He doesn't ever drift through the middle. He's too stuck far out wide. Whereas when he plays in the middle, he's able to link up better and stuff like that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, so I didn't mind seeing that. I just didn't want Sterling in the team. I just didn't want Sterling in the team. And today, shown it really. But we're going to get into that into the player rating. So let's go through the goals. And the half. So, first half, uh, we were 2 0 up. Um, we went into the second half, it was 2 0 up. But the goals came from. Uh, the goals came from. Cucarella. Cucarella scored the first goal. It was a good cut inside. Um, cut through the. Uh, it was a great cutting pass from Jackson. Squares it into Cucarella. Cucarella in an attacking position, which we never see him in those two positions ever. He's there to tap it in. 1 0, straightforward, cool, cool and composed. Um, and yeah. Second goal came from Palmer, which was a good assist from Sterling. What I will say is good assist from Sterling. Um, again, basically just like the Cucurella goal, in a sense. Cut across the box from Sterling. And um, Cole Palmer's there to tap it in to make it 2-0. But that first half was all just sunberry and roses. You know what I mean? Because like we weren't a better team in the first half. Leicester didn't really pose a threat. It was more like counter-attacks Leicester were doing in that first half. That caught us off guard at times. We were the more dominant team in possession, which was expected. We should be dominating in possession. But we wasn't really creating so many chances against this type of team. That's the thing. But we, we had a lock on the game. It's just there wasn't enough movement. That's the thing. There wasn't enough movement. Sterling was pants. He, he, he got the penalty and then he took the worst penalty I think I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like he shins it when it's on the ground. It's a dead ball situation and he somehow shins it, it looks like. I don't know, but he missed the penalty. He was slowing the build-ups. Oh, my God. Luckily, he got assist in that first half because if it, wasn't, if it wasn't for the assist, I would be saying yank him off in a second. Do you know what I mean? That's how bad he was. Second half, we go into anyway. Um, did we make it 3-1? I can't remember how the, what order the goals went, actually, if I'm not mistaken. No, we conceded the first goal from a De Sassion goal. The Sassy stupidly tries to pass it back. Let, there's two faults here. The Sassy with an awful pass, awful pass, goes straight into our back around net. So it's a De Sassy own goal. But let me just say this: Sanchez, Robert Sanchez's positioning, holy God, Amoli, was it shocking? Catastrophe. Why was he placed there? Robert Sanchez was pitiful as well today. Um, Cluster, let's, pardon my French, but clusterfuck between the two of them that was. Let's Leicester back in the game. And that's when Leicester go and score not long after as well from Mavididi, I think his name is. 
Great skill on the edge of our box. And he just whips it in the bottom, um, in the right-hand corner. Really good goal. You can't really do nothing about it. But we allowed Leicester into that game by giving him that own goal. I don't know what both players were doing. I don't know what both players were doing in that situation for the own goal. Um, for their second goal, it's just, you know, fair enough. But, like, the second half was... Honestly, the second half was boring. The whole game was boring, let's be real. Like, apart from the goals and, you know, all that... There's still no style of play in this team. There's still no system. You know, you, you can't watch that game and you tell me what the style of play is. Please, if somebody is a Pochettino fan here and is watching this video, don't just go in on me saying, I'm your Poch hater. No, please give me an explanation of what the style of football is, please. I'll give the benefit of the doubt, say, because we got the win. That's all I care about, because now we're through to the semi-finals. But still, there's nothing, there's nothing there that excites me. Do you know what I mean? Bar when you take off Sterling, who has an absolute shocker, and you bring on Carne Chukum Awaker. Brilliant link up for the third, um, for the third goal with um, Cole Palmer. Him and Cole Palmer link up brilliantly on the edge of the box, and Carney slots it home. Carney is a brilliant number ten, brilliant number ten. And quite quite frankly, my opinion, I think underrated. When we signed this guy, a lot of Villa people were telling me this guy's crap. I'm, I'm happy to see the back of him. For me, I love Carne Chukum Awaker. I love him. He puts in the effort. He's a very, very technical player. He's really good technically with the, how how big he is. You know what I'm trying to say? Brilliant link up for the third, third goal. And um, yeah, 3 2. And that was at the time where Leicester, I think, got a red card. They got a red card around that time. So they were down to 10 men. And ideally, there we had to blossom. We had to kill the game off. That's where we got the third goal. Fourth goal as well was. Absolutely unbelievable from Nani Madueke. It's my, it's my problem with Nani Madueke. He's so inconsistent. And my problem is, when he has a bad game, admittedly, I'm a bit there like, I love Nani Madueke, but I feel like he's too, too, too raw. So I feel like we should sell him. But then when he comes up and has a good performance and puts in a stellar goal like that, I look at him and go, nah, oh God, we've got to keep him. I'm in, the, I'm in the middle. I don't know where to sit with Nani, but I love Nani. Finished from him. He take, it's like he doesn't know what he's doing at the start with the ball. He can't get the ball under control enough. But he manages to get it under control. Then he goes past like a defender with brilliant skill. He take, basically takes on two defenders. Because to, to get the ball under control, he gets past one defender. Then, he's, then he um, shimmies past one. And then he bends it brilliantly outside the box in the top left-hand corner. Mwah! Excellente, you know. I'm turning... I'm turning... Um, I don't know, a different, a different nationality, excelente, you know what I'm trying to say, brilliant, and that was the game dead and over, and I mean, it was the 90th odd minute when Nani scored that, it was, it was, it was tie over, as soon as we got the third goal, it was tie over, because like, they had a red card, 10 men, we should have taken them, do you know what I mean, but honestly, I'm really, really happy that we are now through to the FA Cup semi-final, this is big, um, we need this FA Cup, like I said, um, in my preview, we need this FA Cup more than anything. Not only is it silverware, we need silverware. Need to win silverware. Not just for the young players' developments and hunger to go and get more trophies. But, because we've never ever, in, for the last like two decades, gone, um, what was it? Two consecutive seasons without a trophy. We've never. So there's a chance at a trophy here. But not just that, if we can get European football. It looks very unlikely in the league, but... In the cup, we can get Europa League. It's European football at the end of the day. So I'm really happy with that. We made it tough, though. In that second half, we made it absolutely tough. The pressure they were putting on us, I can't lie, throughout the whole game, if you take away the goals that we scored, Leicester were playing better football than us. You could tell the system what they were trying to do. They were trying to break us away um, in the later stages of the game. But at the times, quick football, dynamic football... Play better football than us. That's shocking. We're we're against a champions championship side. Like I said, I'm gonna give the benefit of doubt because we've gone through. But this can't be sustainable. It can't be sustainable at all. All I'm happy is that we're through to the FA Cup semi-final. We're going to Wembley again. This is a chance at redemption for us. Wembley. We've got a bad record at Wembley recently. Now let's go there. Let's rectify it. Let's get the semi-final win at Wembley. Rub our hands ready for the final. You know what I'm trying to say? Rub our hands ready. So, yeah, let's go through player ratings. So, Sanchez was bloody shocking. 
he didn't get to one cross. There was there was three corners and he got nowhere near both of the both of the three corners. I mean, like coming out to try and punch it out, he got nowhere near both of them. He didn't make a single save. I don't think. For me, I've got to be honest. This might be the lowest rated I've ever given somebody on this channel so far. I think it's a two. I think it was a two. I think he was awful. Absolutely awful. Proof that Petrovic is way leagues above him. Way leagues above him. Um, Gusto went right back. Gusto, he was really good. Gusto's standard now. It's, 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 it's his standard. He's so consistent. He does really, really well. He might have got an assist today, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure. But Gusto, I'd say it was a six. I think he was a six. The Sassy own goal was also shaky at times, giving the ball away a bit too easily. A 3.5, honestly. Trevor Chalibur was stellar. I, I, honestly, if we sell Trevor Chalibur for De Sassi, I'm done. I'm done. I think Trevor Chalibur is twice the player De Sassi is. Trev, I'd say... was a 5.5. He was solid. Um, Cucurella got a goal. Wasn't really at fault for anything. I can guarantee you, I haven't been on Twitter since the game, yeah? Since the game ended, because I've literally come straight home and I've just been chatting to my parents and stuff like that. If I see people criticising Cucurella for this performance, I, 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 there must be a stinky agenda. There must be a stinky agenda. Because I think, again, he had a decent performance there. Got a goal as well. I'm going to give him a 5.5. Uh, Gallagher didn't really do much all game. I've got to be honest. Didn't really offer much all game, but... Didn't really do that much, so I'm going to give him a five. Casado again, intercepting everything. Putting a good through ball for one of Sterling's chances, which he put sky wide. Literally put so far wide. With his one-on-one -on -one clear through the middle of a keeper, I don't know. But put a brilliant through ball for that as well. Casado is there all the time, available. And also, you didn't rarely see him put a mistake in now, unless he's literally being surrounded. <clears throat> I think Casado was a six. I say six. Um, Mudrick down the middle. Mudrick looked. I think Mudrick looked positive today. I thought Mudrick looked positive. He got yanked off before Sterling somehow. I don't know. I do not know. Not fair whatsoever. I thought. I thought Mudrick looked uh, very, very decent going through the middle. He looks. He looks more confident down the middle as well. So I'd say Stur uh, Mudrick was a was a six as well. I give him a six. Um, Sterling off the left, this is where, actually no, we're going to go to Sterling in a minute. Palmer, Palmer, again, just like Gusto, this is a standard, this is just a standard performance for Palmer, decent, he was just decent. Got a goal as well, uh, I'd give Palmer a, I'd give Palmer a 6.5, I'd give Palmer a 6.5. Sterling, now actually we'll get Sterling after, but Sterling's playing off the left. Schreiker, Jackson, was an okay game, you know. He did a couple of decent turns, won the penalty, um, won a free kick for us. Um, I say five. He was okay, and then Sterling. This is where we get into it. This guy. How is this guy on three hundred odd k a week? It's literally broad daylight robbery. The fact this guy's on three hundred odd k a week. He's putting some stinky performance in this beautiful, legendary shirt. Yeah? This is the worst. This is against a championship side, and he struggled. Missing sitters. Not making the right decision. Not tracking back. Doesn't seem like he cares. Wrong. Very, very weak. No urgency to get the ball back when he loses it. Or just in general, go and get the ball back. Busting the gut to get the ball back. No. He don't care. It seems like he's only moved to Chelsea because we've given free, given him 300 odd k a week and because obviously his, his family's in London, obviously he wants to go and live with his family in London, which I completely understand. But if that's the only reason why you want to come to Chelsea, then I want you gone. Because I want people to play for Chelsea, obviously, because they want their family. They want to do well for their family as well in terms of money, but also because they want to put their heart in for the club. Do you know what I'm trying to say? They want to put their heart and all into this team. This guy don't do that. This guy just wants to be there for the family and... You know, the money. He doesn't care about Chelsea. That's what it seems like on the pitch to me. And I don't want that at the club. I do not want that at the club. He's been stinky. He's been stinky. Um, also, his free kick as well was shoddy. 
Shoddy. You heard, you heard the boos when Mudrick was um, being put off instead of Sterling. The boos rang around. When Sterling came off, eventually, because <coughs> he did come off, the boos for him to come off, obviously, because he didn't do well. And then the cheers when Nonny Maniweke came on. It just shows everything. This guy's got to go. If these owners do not get rid of him, I don't know what world they're living in. Sterling, I'll be honest, I'll give him a... <laughs> I'll give him a two. I'll give him... Uh, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to give him a three simply because he got an assist. Simply because he got a decent assist. I'll give him a decent assist. Shocking. Carney came on and you saw the impact he made in Sterling's position when it's not even meant to be Carney's position. Sterling... No, Carney. Brilliant technical feet. Technical feet. Brilliant link up with Palmer. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I say Carney was a six when he came off the bench. A bit late when he came on. Uh, Madawake as well when he came off the bench looked positive. Again, didn't have really much time to impact the game, but he got an absolutely sexy goal. Sexy goal. Um, you can put you can put Madawake on. The thing is, I don't feel like I can rate him, but he scored an absolute screamer, so I'm going to give him a six anyway. Um, who else came off the bench? Ben Chilwell came off late. Came on late, but. He didn't really do much, but I can't really rate him because he came on late. And I've got to be honest, I think that's it sub-wise. I can't remember anyone, what anybody else that really came on. So, yeah. Albeit, we're through to the FA Cup semi-final. It's positive. I'm gassed. I'm fully gassed that we're through to the FA Cup semi-final. But my days did we make a little bit of hard work of it. It may be 4-2, but we made a hard work of it. I'm just praying we get Coventry. And even then, we can't underestimate Coventry. I'm not saying under. I'm not saying, oh yes, easy game. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, it's an easier game than like a City or a Liverpool or I don't know a United or whoever else is through. So we've just got to pray on that. So we're gonna wait for that draw. Pochettino made the subs too late again. Again, I think he was tactically outdone by a Championship manager. Say what you want. I think he was. Um, you got to admit, the red card gave us a leeway. I think if we didn't get that red card, I still think we would have won the game, but I think it would have been even more tougher. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Positive all round. I'm happy with through. And, um, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on to the semi-final. And, yeah, we've not now, we haven't now got a game for another week. So, we've got a week break because of international break or two-week break. And then... We, kick, we play another game, not next week, the week after. So, yeah. I'll see you all, not then, not next week. No, not the week after next week. I'll probably see you all next week. I'll probably get a video out then. So, yeah. Come on, up the chouse. Let's go and get redemption for Wembley. Let's bring that Wembley winning feeling back. And let's hopefully we get a good draw for this FA Cup semi-final because that would be quite delicious. You know what I'm trying to say? That would be delicious. So, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you all thought about the game. And, um, yeah, take care all. Like and subscribe. And get in!